Good morning, South Rock. Welcome to another Mark Devo. Today is Mark 10, 46 through 52. And it is a singular story of the healing of a blind man named Bartimaeus. Uh, pretty interesting story. Jesus is just walking by in Jericho and uh, Bartimaeus cries out, uh, basically, son of man, have mercy on me. And the crowd tries to quiet him down. And eventually Jesus finds Bartimaeus and heals him and uh, sends Bartimaeus on his way and says, uh, have your sight, your faith has made you well. And so something of note to that's something that's interesting, I should say, is that oftentimes these kind of, I'll call them tertiary, meaning like not primary or secondary, but tertiary third on the fringe characters, people that you don't hear mention of much after this, often they're named because they have significance to the early church or they have significance to the people reading uh, who it's written to. That happens a lot in Paul's letters. Paul's, Paul will just men mention somebody by name and that's the only time they're mentioned in the whole Bible. It's because that person has clout or that person has uh, significance in that church. So Bartimaeus may have been named because he became a prominent figure in the early church and people would have been like, oh, wow, that was Bartimaeus, the, the Bartimaeus that we know as this great preacher or a deacon or whatever the case may be. So uh, I say all that because that leads me to one, my first, it's not a question, it's more of a charge, but uh, it's kind of like, don't forget about the Bartimaeuses. This is just a blind beggar on the side of the road. But because he had faith, because he cried out to Jesus, because he was so willing to hear and accept what Jesus had, he became a figure in the church big enough to be named. Well, he became well known enough to be named in the Gospels. So uh, that could be anybody that you interact with. There could be a Bartimaeus that you see at the gas station or at a restaurant or your neighbor. There could be a prominent figure of the church just waiting to be poured into by you. So don't forget your Bartimaeus. That's number one. The question, though, comes from what Jesus says to him, because Jesus says, your faith has made you well. And so the question is, if the request that you bring to Jesus the most uh, was on your heart and you were face to face with Jesus right now and you prayed that prayer, you asked him for that thing, would he say your faith has done this. Would he say, because of your faith in me, because the, the way you believe and how much you believe that I am capable of doing this, this has been granted, this has been done. It's a heavy question because Jesus said all we have to have to move a mountain is the faith of mustard seed. And it seems like we people needed even less to get these things granted. Blindness healed and and bleeding stopped and all these different things. So if you were face to face with Jesus and you asked him the request closest to your heart, would he say, your faith has done this? It's a heavy question to carry with you, uh, but I hope you're able to think on it today and have a good Friday.